So how do you start your basketball training business? My name is Nick Aldiro. I'm a success coach with Make Money Coaching Sports. And if you're looking for extra help after this and you want to talk uh, on a free Zoom call, you can book the call. The link will be in the description or you can text me at the number that is also in the description. So how do you start your, your basketball training business? You love basketball, you enjoy working with kids, you wanna help, you know you have knowledge to share. So I'll start off by asking you like some questions about things that you, have you, have you tried yet, um, if you're just starting out. Uh, number one, have you reached out to any organizations, whether it's uh, the local rec department, AAU teams, um, Anybody that has uh, any type of league that has a large number of kids, schools, especially like private schools, have you reached out to them and said, hey, I would love to do a free session for your, um, for your organization. Again, whether it's team, uh, AU school, doesn't matter, recreation department. Um, I would love to do a free session for you, for you guys, a free skills clinic, and it's going to be for this many people. Uh, is that something you, you'd be opposed to? Uh, so a lot of people say no because they're like, who the hell are you? But there's going to be some people that say yes. And it's going to put you in front of a lot of, a lot of kids. If you're able to uh, work something out where you get their contact information beforehand, that would be really, really good. Okay. So have you done that? Um, number two, do enough people know that you're looking to start your own basketball training business? Are you putting it out there in the universe? Have you started a, um, a YouTube channel or Instagram or TikTok or something uh, where you're displaying your knowledge to, to more people where you can gain some credibility? Now, what most people do with that is, well, oh, I, don't have a, I don't have a professional camera. I don't have anyone to video me, and then I never do anything. It doesn't matter. Just get started. I'm, I'm in my car right now uh, on my way to visit my parents and, and shooting this video like while I'm driving. So just start. This is not a high quality video. Just just throw something out there. Okay. It's better to do something than nothing. Uh, so you just got to start. All right. So number three, don't undervalue in person because if you're not just doing online, in-person connections are more important than you just posting a lot on like Instagram. Because it's Instagram and things like that. It's uh, it, can, it can it can work. It's just there's a lot of people with a lot of followers who don't have a very successful business, and there's people with like zero, hardly any followers that have a very successful in-person business because of word of mouth, and they just put themselves out there in good position. So putting yourself out there in person, if you're going to do in person, uh, have an in-person business is more important, but you should still do the social media part. Um, cause it shows credibility and that, you know, you can teach and, and stuff like that. Uh, next, do you get the repetition communicating with others and teaching that you need to feel confident, uh, to work in front of a group of parents or a group of kids. So are you working on speaking to the camera or do you are you in front of people speaking? Because coach, teacher, it's all the same stuff. Like you, you have to be able to speak because uh, you can be the best basketball player in the world, but if you can't communicate how to do something, it's not going to, it's not going to help. Uh, the de- being able to demonstrate is good, but if you can't communicate it, communication and coaching and teaching is, is more important than you actually being like the best player when you go to the park. Um, it's icing on the cake to be really good, but it's not, it's not the end all be all of coaching and teaching, right? Um, next, you don't need a gym to start. Okay, you can go outside, especially if you live in warm weather. Um, You just have to have things like rain, rain out policies and, you know, inclement weather uh, policies locked in with the parents before you, um, 
before you start so they know way ahead of time what they're getting into if it does rain. Uh, I'm not going to get into that here. Um, that is something we help coaches with at, uh, at Make Money Coaching Sports. But, uh, but, yeah, you have to have that locked in. And communication is key. Like, when people know up front what the policy is and they, you know, they agree to something, then, right, then they agree to it. And as long as you're clear and you're honest, then there's nothing wrong with that. So you can start outside. Um, is a gym better if you're looking for security of, like, um, not having any weather issues or it's maybe where you live is too cold? Of course. But if you don't have any money, most people starting out, they might not want to invest the money into a gym yet if they don't have people. Um, you're going to have to do things at first for free. Um, and you can always do things for free, but if it puts you in front of people, and especially if you have their contact information locked into your system, it is good. It is very, very good. Because once they see that you know what you're talking about and that you can help and, you, uh, and you're genuine and, and you're a good coach, they will pay for your, your expertise. But you got to get in front of those people, which is what the, the first point is. So... Doing things for free in front of a lot of people is definitely worth it. Um, what most people do when they start their, their basketball business is they, they do a lot of one-on-ones and they charge either the first thing that they do is like free with a one-on-one kid and, and maybe they charge a little bit of money and then they, they kind of get stuck with the one-on-one training model. It's not wrong and it's good starting out, but eventually you want to you know, you build up to groups. And to build up to groups, you got to get in front of more people get referrals, things like that. So if you're someone who's looking for extra help and you feel like you can do this um, and you're good with kids, you're able to communicate, you know what you're doing, you can reach out to me by clicking, uh, click, go into the description and you can schedule a call on the, on our calendar. Um, And how that works is I'm just going to ask you questions, see if you'd be a good fit to uh for us to work with and it, it, see if we can even help you because we can't help everybody obviously but um yeah thanks for watching this video hope it helps and i'll see you next one